hey, I'm really excited that you want to learn more about trading options. Um, but I want to tell you the truth right away about options, and that is you're going to experience losses. And the losses will be large in percentage terms at times, um, but really that's not as important as you might think. Um, if you don't believe that or you can't accept it, just stop watching now. This video is definitely not for you because in this video, I'm going to tell you the truth. We're going to talk about the fact that options trading is a challenge, um, but that we can overcome those challenges with the right strategy. I've been trading options for a number of years, and like many of you, um, I've experienced significant gains and I've also experienced losses. Um, I think what has worked for me well in the long run, though, is that I went into this with realistic expectations. Um, and so in future videos, we can talk a lot about some of the mistakes I've made because I do think it's important to acknowledge those and talk through them. Um, but today we're just going to kind of focus on what I did right. And the first thing is, is that I always do the math to understand how I could still win, even though I've experienced losses. Um, and I also realized along the way that there is more to it than just math. Um, there are emotions and we all experience them when we experience losses. Um, no matter what, you know, everyone online tells you to leave your emotions at the door. You know, that's not always possible. And, you know, we're going to experience them and that's OK. But what we have to do is just remember that the words are pretty useless, right? If someone tells you just to forget a loss, it's impossible. Um, losses hurt. You can't ignore them, you know, because they're real and each loss removes money from, you know, your precious trading account. So I'm not going to tell you to ignore them. I'm just going to tell you that in the long run, they're actually not going to matter as much as you think. So we're going to look at some examples and some math here to help you understand that. So one of the first things we want to do when we are trying to understand how we could still be winners in the long run, even though we've experienced losses, as I was just saying, um, is to just kind of learn to look at trading options as a marathon. So in the long run, you're going to make, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of trades. Um, you should think of each trade as just on that journey. So no single trade should make or break you. Um, occasionally, you know, we do read about someone who has lost everything on one trade. Um, it's not hard to imagine that they were probably, you know, they probably went in too big on that trade and, you know, they weren't mindful of the fact that they could possibly lose everything. Um, and we also see that with winners, right? Um, people get lucky. And unfortunately, um, luck is not a strategy that we can rely on. So instead of focusing on any one trade, um, you know, focus on the math of success. And you can be successful even if most of your individual trades result in losses. And that's definitely based on math. So let's take a look at the math here. So we can kind of look at it as mathematical expectation. So you can see here the formal definition, um, but the math is something that you probably recognize from a class on um, probability or statistics. Um, as I said, formally it's mathematical expectancy, but it's just a simple formula. It sounds fancy, but it's basically just um, how much you can make on an average trade times the win rate. So your average trade basically accounts um, for all of the wins and losses you experience over time. So this value will change. Um, so it's a, real, it's a good idea to revisit it and just check your math to make sure you're on track to achieve your goals. Um, and as a trader, you know, your, your goal is obviously just to make a lot of money. So you always want to go back and double check that math. So on our next slide here, um, we're going to just look at an example. And you can see um, that with a 50-50 chance of a win, and a two to one win to loss ratio, you have a positive expectancy. So in trading terms, you have a winning strategy. Um, I won't go read through the example here because um, I know that you can see it, but essentially it just means that you have a 50% chance of winning $200 and a 50% chance of losing $100. So that equals $50, a positive expectation, which translate to a 50% gain. Um, so in the long run, as I said, you do have a winning strategy. So you might think um, that the key to success is that win rate. And of course, for a given win-loss ratio, a higher win rate um, will result in greater wealth accumulation. But there is more to consider. So let's take a look. Um, you know, with a win rate of 33.34% and a win-loss ratio of 2 to 1, the expectation is 
um, with a win rate of 40%, the expectation is 20%. And with a win rate of 90%, the expectation is 170%. So what you see here basically is that the win-loss ratio is probably the most important factor to consider. Um, this just confirms the old saying that you let your winners run and you cut your losses quickly. Um, with a high win-loss ratio, you can be right on just a quarter of your trades and still be profitable. Um, and if the win-loss ratio is small, you probably have a bad trading system and you're going to lose money, you know, despite whatever trading system you're using. Um, so this really isn't surprising. And I like to think of it like baseball. Um, so the batter can be wrong 70% of the time and still make it into the Hall of Fame um, with a batting average of 300. So batters know that they can't expect to get it right all the time and they don't stress about it. Um, they're comfortable being wrong, knowing that, you know, they'll be right more often and they'll win. And successful traders, you know, you have to have the same mindset. So now it's time to like this video, subscribe to our channel, um, and just consider how you think about losses. Unless you're comfortable with losses, definitely don't trade. But don't, also don't be afraid to trade. Just go into it with realistic expectations as we talked about earlier um, and just try to have fun with it because it's possible to make you know, a lot of money trading options. You just need to be mindful um, you know, of all of these things that we've discussed and be confident moving forward.